There we go, about two thirds to three quarter throttle. Not too bad, eh? And that was from its own natural in the deep snow takeoff. I'm going to go to low rates just for uh, flying, so it's a little bit more gentle. But I need high rates to take off and land. Okay, with high rates now, I'm going to set up for some touch and goes. Maybe. We'll have to be so gentle. And I see they're going to have to come from corner to corner in the field. Not bad, eh? A little tight in here with all those trees. <laughs> I was getting nervous. Once you've established flying speed, it's not bad. You gotta turn inside of those trees on that outbound corner. That's not good. Actually, it handles the snow really well, eh, Jeff? Shock. I love those skis. They're so much better. Once they're frozen, they're and they don't grab the snow as bad. That's the way to go, all day long. Come around the tree between before the goalpost. <laughs> and take off before the next set of trees. <laughs> Not what you would call a classic uh, aviation approach. <laughs> I don't know if they'd approve that with Transport Canada or the FAA down in the States. Rudder into the corner, throttle up, and then throttle down. Okay, one minute warning. Okay, time to land. Rudder in. Nose into the wind. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Well, I don't know about you, but that's fun. <laughs> Skidded in. <laughs> the Stinson SR10. Stinson Reliant. On ski. see if this thing will taxi unlike the uh, SE5A which did not want to I think maybe the uh, snow is a little sticky what do you think I could see it, the wing, I wasn't going directly into the wind. Okay, we got this now. It will work. That's proof of concept. <laughs> oh, my feet are so cold. Oh, I can't feel my feet. 
Well, I'm going to have to shut it down because my feet are frozen.